Food banks have been of huge help for struggling families amid the pandemic, but there are overwhelmed food banks in London who have been witnessing a surge. This report has the details. Even before the pandemic began, every year about 8 million people struggle to put food on the table in the UK. The pandemic forcing millions into poverty and now with job layoffs and pay cuts, people struggling to provide proper meals for their families. Even those who were once employed in well-paying jobs are now forced to take help. Food banks, to some extent, have been able to cushion the social impact of the virus. Food banks like Watford Food Bank has seen firsthand the surge in poverty as the number of people relying on food banks increases. Thousands of children and adults are now reliant on food banks. Many teachers in schools were witness to children who could no longer get proper food at home. Our members are just telling us how desperately worried they are about some of their children. You know, they, as I say, they see firsthand the impact of poverty on children. You know, they, they see children coming in who haven't had breakfast, who maybe haven't had, had a proper meal the night before. It may be that the only, the only really kind of nutritious meal that they have during a day is the lunch that they eat at school. So they're, they're desperately worried about it. Across London, 19% of children claim free school meals. The UK government claims that it is helping the people in need. However, the numbers have only increased. Seeing the dire situation of the children and increasing number of families relying on food banks, English football player Marcus Rashford started a campaign to end child food poverty. His campaign calls for an extension of free school meals to 1.4 million more UK children, an increase in the value of fresh fruit and vegetable vouchers for pregnant women on low incomes and an expansion of charity-led holiday hunger schemes. Uh, Marcus Rashford has done a fantastic job in, in, uh, you know, um, in exposing the issues because he has suffered. He has experienced what it's like as a child to go hungry. And for most of us, that's something we can't begin to imagine. But we do see it here in the food banks quite regularly. Not only do children go short of food, but often parents will go short of food to feed their children. Since he started his campaign, many people and organizations have come forward to offer help, even those with no background in the hospitality business. Cab services have come forth to give free rides to people who need to get to the food bank. Restaurants have offered to help provide packed lunches. This, of course, has come with sharp critique for the government from people who say that it should not be entirely up to charities to see that no child goes hungry. Even though such initiatives have been able to help to some extent, anxiety and stress still looms. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.